My name is uh, Faisal Saeed Al Mutar. I'm from Iraq. I'm 24 years old. I was born right after the first Gulf War, and uh, I was born uh, south of Baghdad in the province of Babylon. And then when I ended up with the elementary school is when the U.S. invasion of Iraq happened. I would say like the most impactful like day happened is when I came back from school and. I saw like my parents, especially, they were so nervous and we were like on the lunch table and ask them like, what's going on? They have been hiding it from us for a while. And then they said that, oh, your brother got kidnapped. And I was in kind of a very weird mood. It's really hard to describe because there's a part of me that was kind of expecting it because like I go to school every day. And I see dead bodies around. I see people killed. I see people getting kidnapped in front of my eyes. And there's like a part of me that was expecting either me or one of my brothers or my sister to have suffered from that. It is what I expected, but it is something that I didn't want to happen. Like there is like kind of a mixed feelings. Like until today, when I visited my mom like a month or two ago, she's still like holding his picture and crying and my story of activism i mean it started i was already i would say very cautious of the environment that's going on around me so there's like civil wars inside civil wars so i, I started being cautious about the environment i'm in i started writing about it and that led me to create like kind of a huge network of activists and within iraq and uh, across the region and uh, many people share a a common narrative, a common goal they want to achieve is that a safer world, civil society, equality for women, equality for minorities, etc. And like when I moved to the West, I started feeling what it's like to have some freedoms that I was not able to have in my childhood and was growing up. So when I see like many people here take it for granted. Having lived in these two worlds, I started appreciating what is this concept of being able to speak your mind, and I'm trying to do my best to help those in a close societies to have the same privileges as we do, especially on these two subjects. I would say that I've been welcomed more than I expected to be welcomed. Like, uh, many people think of immigration as probably one of the most difficult things in life, changing culture, changing language, difficult to find a job for many people. But for me, I would say I've had a lot of people who I would say connected to me because of the cause that I care about. Sometimes I fear, like many people around in my country who actually, I wouldn't say accepted it, but reached to a point of hopelessness. It's like, okay, it is what it is. And or like we get used to it, for example. I mean, if there is any statements that, that I would say makes me angry the most is the statement we get used to it like you get used to suicide bombing like that is not a good thing to get used to like you have to value your life to the point in which you say that this is unacceptable i want people to know more about the human story and try to understand more of other cultures other people try to create a solidarity movement in which people who share the same goals that I mentioned about civil society, equality for women, equality for minorities, etc., to all work together beyond borders and just think human, think about the, the values we share and work all together to achieve them here in the United States and around the world. My name is uh, Faisal.